Australian news anchor Rita Panahi brutally mocks Justin Trudeau. Funny how international news media not on Justin's payroll cover him differently. Enjoy the show. Now let's start the segment with the king of performative caring, the Canadian himbo himself, Justin Trudeau. What he is proposing to do is to make Canada great again. That is not what Canadians want. He is pining for a nostalgia that, quite frankly, Canadians do not feel. Yes, why would Canadians want Canada to be great again? What a shocking concept that would be. News from Canada, where the king of performative caring, the neo-Marxist Ken Dole himself, Justin Trudeau, is floundering in the polls and he's now lashing out at people rejecting far-left parties. We have seen uh, around the world a rise of... Uh, uh, populist uh, right-wing forces in just about every democracy uh, that we've seen. And um, it is of concern to see uh, political parties choosing to instrumentalize anger, fear, division, anxiety. So there you go. The swing to the right is all due to anger, fear, division and anxiety. Precisely what Trudeau pushed with his hard left policies for the past nine years. Never forget, this is the monster who falsely branded Canadian truckers as extremists and white supremacists and then froze their bank accounts. Uh, adios, Fidel Jr. Uh, now, it's been a while since we talked about uh, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the uh, neo-Marxist Ken Doll, as I call him. He's in mm -hmm. some serious trouble, Douglas. Uh, this week, his party lost a by-election in one of the safest Liberal seats in the country, in Toronto, uh, St Paul. And uh, Trudeau's minority government is badly trailing the Conservatives in the polls. Is this the end for Trudeau Douglas? Have the Canadian people finally woken up to the performative caring um, that lacks any real substance? You absolutely put your finger on it, Rita. Performative caring. That's all that Justin Trudeau does. Um, it's very hard to find a true thing he's ever said or a sincere thing he's ever said. The man is entirely artifice. He's an utter bimbo, uh, a phrase that maybe one wouldn't <laughs> use of a female politician these days, but I'm happy to use of Justin Trudeau. Um, there's, he's so he grotesquely... He could be a himbo. <laughs> he's a himbo, I suppose. Um, uh, I was in Canada uh, uh, last week in a couple of cities, and uh, I can't tell you, Rita, the detestation that you find for Trudeau across the political board. Uh, a vast majority mm. of Canadians want him to stand down now. Um, he has really impressive uh, oppo uh, opposition now. Uh, um, I think that Pierre Polievre and uh, the yeah. others on the conservative side that are coming along, they're very impressive people uh, uh, now uh, facing off against Trudeau. I think he's absolutely toast because finally, you know, we've got to that stage where being a sort of superannuated drama teacher, turns out you can fool some people for a little while, but not for all that long. Everyone in Canada who wants to see through Justin Trudeau has seen through him. I don't think anyone will regret finally seeing the back of him. He was the biggest media darling in the world there for quite some time, though, Douglas. He had a very lo long honeymoon indeed. It was all style, no substance. You look at the policies they instituted, they weren't helping people, but no. they were fated as these new age leaders who were full of compassion and, and empathy. And people should be aware of this. The amount you can get away with that is cruel and sometimes evil if you wrap it up in this particular mm. style of politics, as long as you as long as you come across all lovey and sort of, you know, silken haired, you can do the most vicious things to your public. And wow, did they do it over in Canada? You might have seen their great opposition leader, Pierre Polivier, who is one of the great rising stars of right wing politics at the moment. He's had a pot shot at the uh, Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, who took off on a taxpayer funded holiday, mind you, over Christmas. How lucky for him. But he didn't go on a commercial airline. He didn't book his own uh, air airfares, did he? No, 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 no. He took a private jet 
at the same time as he's telling us you must stop flying because it's bad for the environment. Take a look. I'd like to welcome the Prime Minister back from his $80,000 wow. vacation, which he got for free. He said, like most Canadians, friends welcomed him for that vacation. He took two, not one, but two private jets paid for by the taxpayer, uh, burning 100 tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. He wants to tax the heat and the food of Canadians. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each of the 100 tons of emissions that he put into the atmosphere as part of his $80,000 vacation? I mean, you've got to love it. It's one thing to go on an $80,000 taxpayer-funded holiday, but it, again, we've got to keep pointing this stuff out because the left does nothing better than hypocrisy. Mm. And they loved it. Oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I mean, they were off at the, the World Economic Forum in Davos a week or two ago. They've all flown there on private jets. One rule for thee, another for me. And speakers who they're happy to completely screw over. We've got people in the UK, Canada as well, thank God our country's not half as freezing as these places, mm. literally freezing inside their mm. own homes, unable to afford heating. And those same politicians have the temerity to lecture their people while they live this lifestyle. Trudeau escaped Canada during winter, so he's enjoying himself in the sun somewhere. Mm. Meanwhile, people back at home, much less fortunate than the Prime Minister, are being hit with a tax. And then when he asked whether or not uh, Trudeau had paid carbon credits for his $80,000 trip, we didn't show you the next part of that clip, but if you were to watch it, you'd find Trudeau didn't answer the question. Instead, he simply accused the opposition of not believing in, car in climate change and being climate deniers. That's the biggest sledge they've got. Progressive left. They don't even answer the questions. They just duck and weave and turn it back on the people questioning them. Those Aussies sure have Trudeau figured out. If only the sheepish Canadian media had the courage to do so too. It's pretty sad, actually. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel for lots more political content and subscribe for more.